finally. Now you Laker fans can get out your brooms to use on Paul Pierce's prediction <laughs> that the Lakers would be swept by Denver for a second straight year, closed out at home again. Nope. This time the Lakers actually tied the Nuggets in the fourth quarter. It was 28 all, which allowed the Lakers to hang on to an 11 point lead and to win 119 to 108. So, Paul, what was the biggest <laughs> reason the Lakers proved you wrong? You know what? It's, I, I'm kind of happy that the Lakers won because <laughs> Lord knows what would we what would we be talking about if LeBron and the Lakers got uh, swept? It, it would have been pretty bad. We yeah. probably would have had about three blocks talking about that. Yep. So I'm happy that they they actually. So tomorrow won. we'll have four blocks. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's gonna be over. <laughs> but it would have been the A, B, C, D. I, I just hope that LeBron <laughs> has four blocks tonight. Right? That would help. <laughs> But I'm happy that they show some pride. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, if we would have talked about this all day today. Mm -hmm. They show some pride, and they, they, that just shows you that these guys, you know, they can play. They like they won. Uh, look at Skip. They won 136 minutes. It's unbelievable. They've been leading for 136. I've never heard like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For 136 and a half minutes of the series, yeah. out of 192, mm -hmm. they've had the lead. Yeah. That's 71%, and they've only come away with one win. But I truly believe that the Lakers are going to revert back to who they were in one, two, and three games, one, two, and three, mm. and in the last 11 before that, to a team that's going to play well at the start. Denver's going to come out second half, get behind that crowd, and eventually win. Mm. So, but thank God that the Lakers show some pride I mean, um, I'm, I'm actually happy. Mm. Uh, the role players won't play as well on the road as they do at home. Austin Reeves and, De and D'Angelo are not getting 42 points in Denver. They're, that's just not going to happen. You know, they, they, they play well at home. Usually your stars got to come up with a big effort. Now, for them to have a chance in Denver, LeBron's going to have to turn back the clock. And I've said this in... Numerous games in this series. I'm just not sure he has that left. Mm. I mean, we're asking a lot from a guy who's 39 years old, who's playing 40 minutes a night, who has to go into this altitude in Denver to say, hey, we need one of those special nights from you. Mm. So if he can't do it, and Anthony Davis is limited to so much he can do, although some days he does look like the best player in the world. He does. I mean, he looked like he's looked like the best... He was 11 to 17 with 20 plus rebounds. How could we come like, like I don't know exact averages that uh, Anthony Davis averages. So he's probably in this series averaging 28 and 15. Isn't that crazy? He's average. He's doing what you want him to do, and that's crazy that he's not the best player in this series mm. because they have no answer for the Joker. Mm. They have no answer for Michael Porter Jr. And if Murray played halfway decent. They would have lost. They would have got swept. So I don't expect Murray to come home and play like he did in L.A. Uh, I expect Denver to close it out, get behind that crowd early, create doubt because those role players, when they, when they start getting down and, and, and they start looking at the clock and you're down 5-6 and shots aren't falling and you know you need this game, they start getting tight. Mm. They start getting tight and they let go of the rope. So I expect that tonight, and I, and I don't see the Lakers coming out of Denver with a win. So do you see another double-digit Lakers? I do lead? see another. I do see. I don't even know if they'll allow that. I think Denver, you know the funny thing, Skip? Denver hasn't even played good basketball to me. Have, they haven't even played a good game yet. They've been down every that ain't game. Our fault. Mm. That's on them. They haven't. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a sign of a championship team where you don't play well and win. They're going to put together a game to where they're going to play well for four quarters. Okay, so... You have to believe that. Once again, the Lakers are seven-and-a-half-point underdogs. Yeah. Do you think it's, what, 10, 12? I think, I think 10, 12, yep. Okay. Double figures. I think Denver finally puts together a good game to where they play well. Okay. Would you give me 10 for one more you game? You got 10 for one more Thank game, you. Skip. Right, 10 for one I'm more game. Two. Ten, I'll you give you 10 and a half. 10 and a half. 10 and a half. You Thank got you. it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay, so it's 3 1. <laughs> we we down 3 1. We go to Denver night. We flew in there yesterday at some point. We didn't get swept. Okay. That's why y'all satisfied. Y'all happy with that. When your back is against the wall, 
sometimes your role players and players in general, they understand it's a one and done situation. Mm. So if you got a lead in a double digit lead at some point in time <laughs> in the game, late in the game or in the third quarter, whatever, I believe the Lakers can hold on to that. I believe even though they're in Denver and the crowd, the crowd can get in it, but the crowd also can be taken out of it. Sure. If that crowd is quiet the, the, for most of the night, it's going to be hard for them to get going, mm -hmm. you know? And now all you got to do is do what you did the last several trips there, except close it out like you did in game five. Mm -hmm. Just close, uh, game four, four I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Game yeah. four, close it out. Just close it out. Okay. And, and bring it home at 3-2. Yeah, that'd I be believe, I believe they can. Paul doesn't. Mm. Think about it, Skip. In those games that we lost in this series, mm -hmm. we was doing everything right up until such time we were not. And that was in the third quarters. And then all of a sudden in the fourth quarter. Even though they was they cut into the deficit and, and cut into the lead in the third quarter, we still was up in the fourth. Mm -hmm. We were still up. You were. Now we just got to expand those leads <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Okay. That's all. Okay. All right. That's it. So what did I see on Saturday night? I saw the magic recipe to break the spell. No. I, I did. No. I saw Anthony Davis through three quarters. He had 23 points yes. and 19 rebounds and five assists. Yeah. That's through three quarters. Yeah. In the fourth quarter, he went quiet the way he's done several yeah. times. And, and he got one shot up the whole fourth quarter. Once again. One shot and he made it. He scored two total points, but he did have four rebounds. I'll give him that. Right. But the point was... I saw this guy named James finally put his head down in the fourth quarter and say, you cannot keep me from the basket because I don't care what you say. We can talk about Ant-Man or whoever you want to talk about exploding to the basket. Mm -hmm. There's still nobody who can do it the way LeBron can, even at age 39 and year 21 at 6'9", 200. Well, what's Ant-Man? 6'4". Yeah. Okay, we're talking about 6'9", whatever he is, 260, 270. Man, he can explode to the, the rack, and, and he's got it both ways because he's naturally born left-handed, yeah. so he's ambidextrous. He can score on you like crazy at the basket as long as he will quit shooting threes. Right. So he took one in the fourth quarter and missed it, and he scored six times at the basket yeah. for 14 points, and that that held off Denver. That just held them off mm -hmm. because that's all you needed to do was just match them. Go 28 to 28 in the fourth quarter, and you're going to win because you came in with an 11-point cushion. Exactly. You just need somebody to put their head down and say, that's enough. I'm not going to take this anymore. And you were at home, and you did get your crowd into it. But if we could see the six shots that LeBron made in the fourth quarter, this is just to remind everybody who might not have seen it on Saturday night, okay, that's just like, thank you. And then he back cut, and both of those are left-handed layups. And then a dunk. This is what I love. This is what he does yeah. best. And yeah. that'll work in there. That's a little Jordan-esque, a little late career Jordan. And then he makes his steal and his dunk. Okay, he can still do that. And then finally he says, you know what? I, you, th that's, that's like candy from a baby. Because yeah. Joker can't deal with that. Well, well, that's been there all series. Okay, it has. Oh, it has, it has, it has not, been there. Not in the fourth quarter. It has well, been there. Well, it's there if you want to take it. If you put the Joker in pick and roll and you got LeBron in front of him, he can do that exact same layout. He, I don't know why they don't do that more. Like, Joker cannot stay in front of LeBron. And you not only put pressure on, on getting him in foul trouble, yep. but you have to help with this. He can't move his feet at yep. a level nope. or elevate to block LeBron's shot. I, I thought just, right. just coming into the series, I thought that would be the game plan. I agree. Put Joker in as many pick and rolls with LeBron and, and attack him and put it. But, but when LeBron settles for all these threes, or he makes these errant passes and, and, yep. and, and, and doesn't try to just draw the foul. Yep. Then you allow Joker to just play and you take pressure off of him when I think that's the biggest key to beating Denver is putting pressure on Joker on the defensive okay. end and picking and rolls. And I just haven't seen it enough. But we saw it there in the fourth All quarter right. and, and it worked. I got one more development. With about two minutes to go Saturday night, Jamal Murray came down a little funky and he somehow strained his calf on Good. his, I think it was his That's left like the foot. third calf strain of this playoffs. Yep, and they are listing him as questionable Yay! for tonight. Okay, <laughs> is it possible wow. that, that he's he's a little gimpy on it, that Good. he's not trusting it, that, that it's going to bother him tonight? Is that possible? Even if know. Jamal Murray doesn't play, I, I truly believe that the Denver home court, like we say, 
role players play yeah. well at home. Yeah. So even if you have to go with Reggie Jackson and, and Christian Brown, mm -hmm. to, you know, like they both have zero points. You won't see that tonight. You won't see them score zero points at home. They'll get more minutes. They'll have more impact. Even Peyton Watson. You know, they've been scored five points. That just won't happen at home. So that will make up for if Jamal Murray can't play. Can't play. When you get five points at home, Jamal Murray gives you 22. I account their bench to give you at least 15 to 18 points tonight. Even if he played, though, he's going to be... So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But the bench makes up for it. The bench gave you five points. At home, they'll give you 18. So that's going to make up. The home crowd is going to make up for their lack of production. On what the if road. they don't? They will. They, it's just, they it's just, it just what happens. What if they don't? Well, I know one thing ain't gonna. I know one thing ain't gonna happen. I know Austin Reeves ain't gonna have 21, <laughs> and Delo ain't gonna have 21. Also, I know that ain't gonna happen. Mm. Well, Delo, Delo shot the ball well in game two. He yeah, did. I get it. In game two, on the not, road, not getting 20. on the road, he shot the ball well in game two. Mm. On the road, if you guys get 42 points out of them, you guys are gonna win. But I just don't see it in back-to-back -back nights. Keyshawn, am I talking it's you back, back into back this? Nights? And back to back yeah. games. Oh, I'm never, yeah. even though I feel, I'm not like you, Skip. But wait, you said just even one topic feel, ago, you said the Lakers are done. Even though right? I may say that and I feel that way, oh. I may say it out loud, like, oh, man, we done, but I don't really believe that. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to believe it till it's over, till they back on the plane. Hey, you want to bet a dinner on it? No, I don't want to <laughs> bet no dinners. <laughs> you don't believe You should be worried about Boston. <laughs> yeah, what are worried about? We won by 20 last game. <laughs> what, what are we worried about? We own you lost the game before. You know how many games we won in a row in Miami? Come on, man, stop. Going back to last year's playoffs, we're comfortable down there. Mm. OK. We're, we're, we're somewhere oh, on, on Ooh, South Beach uh, with our feet up. Okay, we're comfortable. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We're comfortable down we there. We will see what happened in game four. We, just, we win in Miami. Yeah? Like, we lost the series last year, but we went down to Miami and won three games last year. Wow. And but that's you still lost the series. But you we should just there. worry about the Celtics, man. Mm. Nothing to worry about right now. And hope that y'all don't see the Knicks. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about right Keyshawn, now. Keyshawn, are you smelling a Laker upset tonight? That's what I want to know. I, I do yeah. feel like they're going to win tonight. They yeah. got the, uh, what I they call too. it, what they call yeah. it, the, uh, the, the cold. They did what? They cracked the cold. Because the cold. Even, yeah. even though <laughs> Paul want to keep screaming about the altitude, the altitude, the altitude, this is the third trip in a week and a half yep. that they've been in the altitude. Mm -hmm. So I think they would be okay going back in there in this game, opposed to when the, first, when the series first started. And even so, they still was balling, except up until... Because they cracked the code now, huh? Well, I mean, I don't know if they, <laughs> Skip said cracked the code. I, no, that's what, hey. that's what, that's what uh, Darvin Ham said, right? Yeah. Oh. I think they cracked the code. Game okay. two, what was it, 20-point lead? 20? They've yeah. been up hey, 20. That's the second You, you go up 20 lead. tonight, they will close that deal. That's what I'm telling yeah. you, Lakers, yeah. yeah. Man, I watched the game. No, no, can y'all tell me this? Watching the game, you know, the Lakers... Even when they was up 20, I wasn't comfortable. You wasn't like, comfortable because they surrendered I was like, you know what? Already. They're going to find a way to get this back to Denver somehow. I and would agree. Especially in the third quarter. You didn't feel good, even though they had a lead. Right? I'm looking like, man, Denver going to come back. You know, I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they'll come back. They just present that aura, and they've done it multiple times on the Lakers. So even if the Lakers go up, the Lakers got to go up 30 points today. Man, then, mm. then I'll be like, Skip, all right. Man, get us out of here, hey. please. They, now we got to go up 30 to win. You got to go 30 to points to win. What if Jamal is hobbled? What if he's hobbled tonight? That's fine. They have enough, they have enough to get one do. game without him. Uh, I don't think they so. They played a lot of this year without him. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.